So just a final couple of points about operationalizing the circle approach. Um, the paper that I mentioned that we published recently in PLOS Medicine provides some guidance on each of the components that we just described. And please do have a look at the paper if you're planning on applying CERQL. Um, at present, we're not recommending any specific tools to assess, assess each of the components. Rather, we have identified a range of issues that should be considered for each component. We have also developed more um, written guidance and prompts. and. We hope this, these will be published later this year as a series of papers. They have been submitted to a journal. And um, members of the Grade Circle Project Group are available to mentor new users. I'll come back to how you can contact us in a minute. So in summary, Circle has the potential to facilitate reflection on findings from qualitative evidence syntheses. We found that by going through this process of, of assessing each of the four components, it does um, um, make you as a review team really look very carefully at your review finding and how it is drawn from the underlying data. Circles has the potential, we think, to make more explicit whether there are gaps or is insufficient evidence in relation to a review question. Um, the adequacy element is particularly important there, but the others may be important too. For example, if you have only partially relevant data. It also identifies where any poor quality studies are available in relation to specific health or other issues. And CIRCLE has the potential to prompt generation of new explanations or concepts to explain patterns in findings. Of course, um, like any tool like of this kind, CIRCLE involves judgments. But what we try to do is make these judgments transparent and to increase the contribution that way of qualitative research to decision making. Um, you can get involved in CIRCLE by joining um, our mailing list and project group via our website at that very address. Um, and we'd also encourage you to use CIRCLE in your qualitative evidence syntheses and to let us know what works well and where you need more guidance. We do have practical resources available and please contact us about those. And this is um, that we will be holding other meetings and training sessions during the year both virtually and also at the Global Evidence Summit um, in, in Cape Town in September, October. And um, the information on these trainings will be sent out by our mailing list. So here again is our um, website and our email address, and we look forward to hearing from you.